Hi guys, this is our first crossover technically. Um, yeah, I mean, it's not really our first because, you know, we have a million other ones. But since We're, I've got a new channel, it's kind of like a crossover. So we are going to be reacting to scary stories. Well, we're not really reacting to them, but we're letting you watch them. It's all by Llama Arts, so I hope you enjoy. The first one is going to be a deep web, so let's get right into it. Like I was on tour trying to find some really deep websites. I was in a chat room where people normally shared links to deeper websites and weird pictures and videos, commonly illegal pornography. Some guy named Vintage Triple X posted a link without describing what it was. I clicked on it and it took me to a black screen where a big video box eventually popped up with a play button. The video thumbnail was a dark room only lit by a TV screen. Out of curiosity I clicked play and began to hear the sound of TV static in the background as lines of static slowly swam down the video screen. There was no seek bar on this video. Then I noticed something slowly begin to emerge from behind the wall. It was a figure dressed in all black with some kind of black mask on as well. I started to suspect it was a jump scare video, and I thought I was right when the figure leaped out and ran to the screen in less than a second. It still got me even though I was expecting it, but then it got strange. The person had their face in front of the screen, slowly moving around as if he could see me and was observing me. Then I heard a crackly, demonic voice say something. It came from the video. It repeated itself and I could make the phrase out to be, ask me something. I was really confused. I tried typing something but there was nowhere to enter text. Then he said, no, not the keyboard. Say something. I felt my heart punch the inside of my chest as he said this. I opened my mouth and mumbled the words, You can hear me? It responded with, Yes. I was uncomfortable now. I thought it was a video. I pressed pause, but it didn't do anything. He said, Don't try to leave. I want to talk. I tried moving the mouse to the exit button, but the mouse was frozen. In fact, none of the keys were responding on my keyboard. There was a long moment of silence before my webcam began flashing as if it were on, and my face popped up on the screen. There, I got a picture of you now. Now just hang on while I get your address, and then we can meet. I started to panic, smashing every key on the keyboard, spazzing the mouse, but it did nothing. I had my finger on the power button, but it also didn't do anything. The computer wouldn't turn off. The voice was saying crazy things like, You're stuck here. I will find you. Don't even bother. I snatched the screwdriver sitting on my desk, unscrewed the four screws on the bottom of my laptop, and took out the battery. The computer finally turned off. I was gasping for air as if I just ran a marathon. My heart was pounding five times as fast as it should have. I have since left my laptop off after that, and have resorted to using my desktop as my main computer. I'm sure by now nothing will happen. He definitely didn't have enough time to get my address. Hi guys, that was a really good video. So we're gonna go on to the next one. Llama, Llama Arts. Yeah, it's Llama Arts. So like and subscribe, and let's get on to the next one. Peace. Ever since I can remember, we've always had one of those old vintage Parker Brother Ouija boards sitting in our closet collecting dust. When I was a kid, I always wondered what it was. From the box, it seemed like a horrible board game, until one day I found out what a Ouija board really is, and immediately dug it out of the closet. I insisted on my brother trying it out with me, and eventually got him to play along. We put our hands on the planchette, and I began asking the typical cliché questions like, Is there anybody there? And, Can you answer me? Other than my brother jokingly moving the planchette around to imitate an answer from some kind of entity, there was no real response. After getting bored, we put the game back in the box. I did a little research that night to find out how to make Ouija boards work. Many people said online that the most ideal environment when using a Ouija board is in a dark room only lit by candles. So when my parents weren't home, 
I managed to gather like six or seven candles and convince my brother to try it one more time. I lit the candles and set them around the table in the dining room with all the lights out. We tried one more time. I asked again if there was anybody there. The planchette began to move. I told my brother to stop moving it, but he swore he wasn't. I told him to move his hand away and he did. It kept moving. My brother thought I was messing with him, but I didn't pay attention. The planchette landed on the word, yes. I was only nine, so I was legitimately shitting myself. My older brother had to take over. He asked the question, are you a good spirit? There was a five second pause before my brother's hand moved along with the planchette to the word, no. We both looked at each other, and at this point I ran to my room and shut the door behind me. But he continued on with the so-called game. I heard his muffled voice come from down in the dining room, when all of a sudden I heard him screaming at the top of his lungs. I ran back downstairs to see what was wrong. He was holding up his shirt, revealing a small open wound that almost looked like a claw mark. He told me to set the fireplace immediately, and I obeyed. He threw the thing in the fireplace and told me to never speak of what happened to anybody. We have never used a Ouija board since. Well, guys, it was a good video. Please like and subscribe. Well, that's really awesome. Peace. Well